What's up YouTube? Doing a video today to kind of document some of my vintage hot, or Matchbox cars and kind of show you a little bit of my collection, some of the things I've received in the uh, garage sales and things of that nature lately. So, start off with, I got this Matchbox City. I've had this one for years, um, but I picked this up at an antique store. I think I paid like $25 for it when I was probably in middle school. And I don't know what it's worth now, but I'll show it to you in a Basically, so how this works is unlatch it here, flip it down, and then it opens up into a Matchbox City. The corners unsnap and unfold here, which I don't really do that anymore because I hit, well, you know what, for y'all, I'll go ahead and take it apart and unfold it. So, and then it folds down into like a city with streets, like as I can, as you can see it hasn't been unfolded in a while, but look at the dimension, everything is three dimensional, buildings, there's a few way, roadways for the cars to drive through, buildings, there's a hospital, um, car sales in the middle, bus terminal, as we travel across 2nd Avenue here, there's a bridge with an overpass, go around it, and here is a dump, like construction site, there is the speed shop, I guess it's like I have a, uh, a drone, gas station, fire station, right there, over to the diner, and police station. Now, the car dealership here in the middle opens up, and there's storage inside. Now I have some of my, um, you know, I can't even remember what the heck these are called anymore. Um, the match, oh, World Class Series, <laughs> there it is. World Class Series, Cadillacs, um, Corvette, Stingray, Prototypes, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Aston Martin, and Camaro, things of that nature. Now these all have the chromed out glass with the rubber tires. Very high quality. Nice ones. Never really play, played with those a lot. My very first one was the uh, Lamborghini Diablo. Right there. Bam. That was one of my favorites. So awesome. Alright. So that's it for the Matchbox City. Like I said, it's in really good shape. Uh, I've always taken care of it. So. Okay, so to continue on with some of my collection. Now, these are cars that I've collected over the years. Um, I'll start off with a couple that I've recently purchased, um, which is the Pepsi truck, Ford Model T Pepsi truck. Um, this one's in very good shape, has the super fast wheels on it. I got this one, and also I picked up the gold Lamborghini Mura with the opening doors. This one has the white interior, red bottom, super fast wheels. Which it looks like I could clean those up a little bit more. But I got both of these um, on a garage sale recently. I paid a quarter each. So can't beat that. Um, I would have gotten more cars, but these are the best two that they had. Um, I wasn't really interested in anything else. So, but they both roll very nicely, and I couldn't pass them up for the price. Now, after getting the Mura, I went to an antique store recently and I picked up the old school yellow Mura. Also, this one has the opening doors just like the other one does, but this one has the older school wheels, not super fast, red interior, uh, gray metal bottom. Now this one does steer slightly. Um, this one does not roll as well as the other one, obviously, because this one's not super fast. But uh, I paid two dollars for that one, so it's in good shape. So. Paint's a little rough, big chip on the roof, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. So, let's see, other other ones. Uh, going off the gold Mira, I have the BMW Pininfarina 1800. Um, this was, I've had this one for a long time, and I can't even remember what I paid for that one, but it's got the white interior opening doors. Super fast wheels, always like the design of this one also. So. 
very fun one to have since I was a kid. Let's see, um, Jaguar. So I will say Jaguar, not Jaguar, because people get upset and comment on my videos saying it's not a Jaguar, or it's not a Jaguar, it's a Jaguar. So whatever. I guess since the British company makes it, I'll call it the way they call it. So this one at one time was a suntan coppery color. That is a reference to my old Biscayne that I had, my first car, um, but it's kind of this champagne-y kind of color. So, what is that? MK, uh, MK10 was that model. So opening hood only on that one with a nice detailed engine. Nothing else opens, but has the slow wheels and a nice trailer hitch. Another one, MG1100. As you can see, when I got this one, this was all black. Someone had painted it black and then eventually I revealed the green paint underneath. Um, this one has not been modified in any way. I started to remove the body but decided not to. Um, so, once again, the slow wheels. I always like this one because it's got the dog in the back seat and the trailer hitch. Alright, Ford Zodiac with the opening hood and a very recessed engine. So, this thing's ready for NASCAR, apparently. Super fast wheels. Um, the old hood is the only thing that opens on this. I like the color on this one. Um, but, nice detail. Uh, probably paid a couple bucks for this one, maybe a dollar at a garage sale or something. But, I did require this one probably within the last ten years. Ford Corsair with the boat on the roof. I love this one. Uh, I got this from a buddy of mine back in high school who was a big collector. This one is very in very good shape. Red interior, red trailer hitch, uh, metal bottom, has the boat roof rack which is all removable. But I always use that one because I thought it was appropriate to pull my trailer. There we go. As you can see with the caravan on the back this one is the pink metal caravan with the slow wheels once again. So, but it's a nice set. Drive it over here. Out of the way. Alright. Uh, another one that I liked, that I've had since I was younger, very much younger, was the Mercury Station Wagon. Uh, someone drew around the windshield with a black sharpie, so I'm trying to get that off. But this one has the super fast wheels. Uh, I always like the detail on it. I always like station wagons, metal bottom. And this one has the dogs in the back. So, decent shape. Got a little bit of a scrape right there in a parking lot. Apparently a door ding. So, this is when I, like I, say, I said, I got this when I was a kid. So, I tried to re-silver the wheels and got a little carried away. But, overall not bad. Let's see, what else? Ford pickup. I actually have two of these. This one's in much better shape than the other one that I have. Um, with the slow wheels. Full grill. Uh, I am missing the camper piece on the back, I believe, but black metal bottom. Um, oh, and this one even steers a little bit, too. Very nice shape. Nothing opens on this one. Volkswagen Beetle. Now, this one's supposed to have a sticker on it, I believe. But when I got this, it was in pretty rough shape. I ended up actually taking this one apart and repainting it just to make it in better shape. White interior because when I got this of course I did the Herbie thing with it. Painted a 53 on it and striped it. And this one is the old school one. This one was actually in my dad's collection that he had when he was younger. So it's got the trailer hitch and it's a nice little Beetle. Or sorry, Volkswagen Type 1. Or if you want to get really technical, KDF wagon. Okay, Mercedes convertible. Opening doors, red interior, trailer hitch. Slow wheels, metal bottom. This one does not steer. This one's in pretty good shape. And then I also have this one, which seems to be the pretty common condition of most of these Mercedes, is doors ripped off, glass missing, trailer hitch worn off. And at some point I repainted the back of this one with, uh, looks like white out and I put some white lettering on the back tire so I could see it do burnouts because that was my thing when I was a kid. But 
There you go, both those two. All right, and then the Mercedes Ambulance. This one's in pretty good shape. I like the suspension move. Um, slow wheels, it's got the opening door and back. Uh, does not have a gurney in it if it's supposed to, but the light is still intact and still stands up. Nothing else opens on this vehicle. Quite interior, oh, I got part of a sticker left. Move that one out of the way. So along with my Mercedes ambulance, I have the Cadillac ambulance, which once again is the usual condition that I've always seen these in. But I do have all three lights intact, part of a or most of a sticker on each side, blue glass, and oh yeah, the back window is broken on that side. But no chassis whatsoever. Someone has yanked this one off. So um, but other than that, it's pretty fun to go ahead and keep it. I think I found this at a, my father and I used to do carpentry work, and I found this in a yard at an abandoned house that we were doing some work on. Or not really abandoned, but uh, it was a job, job site, it was just laying out in the mud, so I picked it up, thought it was cool. So, no kids live there, so I figured, what the heck. Uh... Going along with the emergency vehicles, have the Mercury cop car. This one has uh, super fast wheels on it. This was out of my great grandma's uh, collection of cars that she had. Metal bottom, white interior, lights. Uh, this one used to have numbers on it, but I touched up the paint with white, white out years ago. It's my amazing painting skills, and so it's not in the greatest shape. But you know what? It's still there. Um, let's see. Ford Galaxy. Is this one the Ford Galaxy? Yeah, they call it. I think they do. Yep, Ford Galaxy. 65 Ford Galaxy Fire Chiefs car. Um, I've seen these ones redone as military vehicles. I thought that looked really cool, but this one's in nice enough shape. I'm going to keep it as is. The light is still intact on that one. White interior. This one does have a gentleman driving it. Um, it does have a couple of stickers. A little ganked on the top. Looks like it got a rollover maybe, but full trailer hitch. One of my favorites as a Ford Galaxy owner myself. Alright. Um, getting down towards the end here, I have a I have the Mustang Fastback. Uh, doesn't say what year it is. But it does have the steering tires. They go back and forth. Um, when I got this one I was like so stoked because I uh, always wanted this one, thought it was so cool. Figured this one would be a little more desirable, but I got this one probably for, I don't know, six bucks. Trailer hitch, red interior, just a cool car. You know, probably not the fastest, because it does have the slow wheels, and the wheels do spin back and forth as it drives, but very nice Mustang. All right, the Austin Mini Cooper or Mini, Austin Mini. Um, race car, this one has the super fast wheels. Number 29, white interior. Uh, this one was a fun little car. Man, very good shape, the paint job's good. The sticker's a little rough. When I got it, I think it was pretty dirty. It had been played with well, but um, the wheels are still in very good shape on that one. I always liked playing with that one. Good little car. Another one from my dad's collection was the Jaguar E-Type, or XKE. This one has the metal bottom, the wire spoke wheels. This thing has been in this condition since uh, I was a small child, since ever since I could remember. I've thought about taking it apart and repainting it, white interior, but I uh, have not got that far with it yet, so I'm just, for now, leaving it as is. Very nice car. And last but not least, this is, I don't believe this is a matchbox because of the uh, small detailing, or the uh, lack of detailing on it. There's no glass, no interior. Um, as you can see, it says made in England, Westminster Countryman, and um, other than that, that's about it. I found that in a collection, picked that up at a, I don't know, flea market or something for, I bet I probably paid no more than like three or four dollars for it, if it's worth that, 
but it's got very grippy tires. It's got some old grandpa grips looking snow tires on it, so that's kind of a neat detail. But uh, anyway, kind of an orange color. Don't know what it is. If anybody knows what brand it is, go ahead and uh, shoot me a message. Uh, number 15. So anyway, but that's it for the collection for now. Later on, I will go ahead and put some more uh, cars out for display and show them to y'all. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.